Hey there you guys! In this video we're going to learn how to make a puffy shaving cream ice cream cone. For our first step we're going to need a small piece of cardboard and a pencil. We're going to be using the cardboard to make our waffle cone. I'm first going to draw a horizontal line and then mark the midpoint at the bottom of the cardboard. Then I'm going to draw two diagonal lines that connect to that midpoint. If you need to use a ruler to have a straight line, go right ahead. For our next step, we're going to use a brown marker and trace over our pencil lines. This is going to make it much easier for us to cut out our waffle cone. Next, I'm going to start by making diagonal lines going one direction on my cone. This is going to start out the unique waffle cone pattern. Once I finish drawing my diagonal lines going one direction, I'm going to flip my cardboard piece around and have them cross going the other direction. Now it's time to cut out our cardboard. I'm going to use a strong pair of scissors and I'm going to make sure that I am always cutting away from myself. Make sure that you take your time when you're cutting out your cardboard because it can be very tricky. If you need an adult's help for this step, go right ahead and ask. Now it's time for our fun background. I'm using a piece of construction paper and some oil pastels. I'm gonna be creating a fun celebration themed background, making little confetti pieces by using squiggly lines and dashes and stars. Notice how most of my confetti pieces are on the outside of my paper. This is because we're going to be putting our ice cream cone in the middle, so any confetti pieces that we draw there we won't be able to see. Now it's time to mix up our ice cream. You're going to need a spoon, a bowl, shaving cream, and some glue to do this. First you need to give your shaving cream a nice good shake. This is going to make sure that it's nice and fluffy. You're only going to need a little dollop of shaving cream to make our ice cream mixture. Next, we're going to use the white school glue to mix with the shaving cream. You're going to want to use equal parts glue to the shaving cream. The glue is going to ensure that our shaving cream dries nice and fluffy. Now it's time to mix everything together. We're going to use our spoon to make sure that everything is mixed evenly. When our mixture starts to get stringy and goopy, kind of like glue, you're going to know that it's all ready to add our food dye. Now it's time to mix in our food dye. I decided to use a few drops of my green food dye so I would have mint ice cream, but you can use whatever color you want. Just make sure that you mix it thoroughly so everything looks even. Now it's time to assemble our ice cream cone. I'm going to put a spaghetti line of glue around the edge and a little in the middle. Then I'm going to pick the perfect spot for my cone to sit. I'm going to press down for a couple of seconds to make sure that it stays in place. Then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to start to map out where I want my ice cream to sit. I'm going to draw a little bit of an edge for me to follow when I start to fill it in. Now it's time to spread our shaving cream mixture. I'm going to start to spoon it out on my paper and spread it out. You can also use your fingers. I found that you're able to get in the nooks and crannies where our pencil lines are and near the ice cream cone a lot easier. 
Sometimes it's just easier to use our fingers to create. As I was working, I decided that I wanted to have a second scoop on top. If you would like to keep it to one scoop, that's totally fine. But I'm just using my finger and I'm spreading more of our shaving cream mixture on top to create a second ice cream scoop. Once you finish with your ice cream, we're gonna want to leave it out to dry for 24 hours. So I would leave it overnight. That way the puffy ice cream mixture will stay puffy. If you try to add anything on top before, it could damage it. Now, make sure that you wash your hands really well and that you clean out any bowl or spoon that you use to make your ice cream mixture. Now that I've let my picture dry, I'm gonna add a cherry on top. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bright red oil pastel to do my beautiful cherry. I'm also gonna make a stem coming out the side. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make our puffy shaving cream ice cream cone. I can't wait to see what you guys create.